Hello everybody, it's Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for April 17th, 2016. So, an important day in front of us. Let's begin with the day itself. We have the moon in Virgo. It's a very critical moon. It's a moon that has criticism towards ourselves and towards other people in our life and we have to watch that. And together with the sesky squares in the sky this morning until noon if you are in Europe or your early morning in America, there's a lot of... We could be ill-content, we could be uh, not satisfied, we could have a um, lighter hand on the trigger today. There's a uh, sesky square to Uranus, sesky square to Pluto, and this could all make us a little more volatile, and this is enhanced greatly by the square to Mars at around 1600 hours Central European time, that's 10 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, really a time that drama could sip into our life, we could get into uh, uh, quarrels and fights and we're feeling challenged and we have to very much watch that and watch how we react and, and how we utilize the energy flowing through our lower chakras, our more masculine energy today is challenged. This is a day to really uh, tighten your uh, emotional control and your uh, self-awareness and discipline. And this is a day that we need to understand, you know, that there, there are social days and there are days that it's not such a bad thing if we'd be alone, if we're left for peace and quiet. And this is a day that we need our peace and quiet. And so if you choose to be alone today and, and distance yourself from other people, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And then there's an opposition to Neptune at around 20 hundred hours Central European time. That's around 1400 hours Eastern Standard Time. It's a time that we're extra sensitive. It's a time that we're not so sure where we need to go. It's a time that we could draw in experiences that have not been expected and are not within our power to control in our environments. And it's also a time of great creativity and spirituality. So again, drawing in today and, and being within your sphere in peace and quiet is a good solution. Now, Mars, the planet of action, of energy, of enterprise, is going into retro today. And it's going to be in retrograde until June 29th. And later on, it would still be in its shadow, the, the point that it began its retro uh, and it would only pass its, its shadow, I think, in mid-August with a conjunction to Saturn, which could be a frustrating time, but then catapulting us uh, into fast and decisive action in the future. So what does it mean when Mars goes retrograde? In fact, when every planet goes retrograde. When a planet goes retrograde, it appears to go backwards in the sky. It doesn't really go backwards. It's well, it's, it's how we see it from our vantage point on Earth. But when it, it goes backwards, it's as if it changes its action, it changes its behavior, it changes its nature, and it sees the other side of the picture. It questions itself, itself and, and it, it really uh, asks itself deep question regarding its nature. Should I be acting this way? Should I be... Uh, moving towards li uh, true life in this manner. And when it comes to our, the planet of action, our masculine energy flowing out, giving birth uh, to uh, entrepreneurship in the world and to bold action in the world, we question ourselves. And this retrograde is going to move from 8 degrees off Sagittarius back through Scorpion and then back into Sagittarius. And at the time that it is retrograding in Scorpio, it's a time, according to Maurice Fernandez, my teacher, that we question our value, our own value, our, our self-worth, in a sense. And when it goes back into Sagittarius, it's a time that we're already more sure of our self-worth, but we're asking ourselves a question along the lines of, is what I'm doing part of my ideology? Is what I'm doing in correlation with my own truth? and the way I want to be living my life. So a lot of people change 
what they do during this time of a Mars retrograde. A lot of people reinvent themselves. And you should look where these degrees of 8 Sagittarius and the end of Scorpio fall in your chart to see what houses and what areas are affected in your life. And in those areas until the end of June, there's probably going to be a dance like two steps backward, one step forward, two steps back, one step forward, two steps back. And this could be an exhausting time, you know? It could bring on fatigue. But what we need to remember since our uh, moving ahead is not direct, it's not fast pacing, it's, it's very much a valse through this place in our life right now. We need to remember that what we're really doing is honing our blade, okay? We're sharpening our tools so we could be more focused regarding who we are and what we should be doing in this world. And that's a good process. It's not an easy process, but it's a good process. If we talk specifically about the state of Israel, that, as you know, I live in Israel at the moment. If we talk specifically about the state of Israel, Israel's natal chart is very much affected by Mars retrogrades. And historically, Israel went into an armed conflict every two and a half years in correlation with the, with the Mars retrogrades. So we could have another armed conflict this summer because historically what would happen is that in the time of the Mars retrograde, Israel would be pushed in the corner into a very uncomfortable security situation, not knowing how to react, to hold herself back or to uh, uh, react decisively. And then as the Mars retrograde, as Mars started moving direct again, boom, decisive action and, and, and sometimes overdoing it, sometimes not enough, but <clears throat> going into a full-blown armed conflict, so, a majority of the times. So this is another option for something that we're going to see in the neighborhood of the Middle East this summer. Hopefully, we are all praying that we can avoid it, that this whole region will enjoy peace and quiet and prosperity but as we know things are very turbulent right now and this is an option we need to be prepared for as well so thank you for listening i hope this weekend is positive for you and i hope you will have a positive week ahead this is boaz finer signing off goodbye